And uh, with that said, Rob, let's go to the NBA, take a break from football. You remember a few years ago, ESPN.com put out a story uh, alleging racial, racist, and misogynistic behavior uh, within the workplace in a toxic work environment in Phoenix under the ownership of Robert Sarver. Now, the NBA had an investigation, an independent investigation that was carried out by a law firm, and they came back with their findings and their ruling today came out today. And Robert Sarver has been suspended for a year, I meaning he can't take place, can't participate in any NBA or Phoenix Suns related activities privately or publicly. And he was fined $10 million. Remember, he is an owner of an NBA team, so he got a lot of money. But uh, $10 million is actually, Rob, the same punishment that Daniel Schneider got down in Washington. Obviously, two different leagues, but uh, it's just it's still the same punishment. The $10 million is the most that they could find him under the collective bargaining agreement. Rob, you have any issues with this? I do. I think the NBA went way soft on this. I really do, Chris. Uh, if I'm Donald Sterling, I'm picking up the phone and calling my attorney, and I want to. I want my team back. And I just, what did they yeah, do I think to me? He died, didn't he die? Did he die? I think so. Rob G. I don't know why did I not remember him dying. Did he? Oh, he's alive. Okay. Yeah, NBA, Chris, yeah, yeah. I just haven't on, seen man. him in the NBA. I, Wait, no, no, no. Oh, son, his son. Okay. What? Yeah, he's not dead. Okay, his son is dead. Son of Clippers owner Donald okay. Sterling. Okay. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I don't remember that story at all. Yeah. But anyway, okay. I, I, I just think, uh, obviously, we heard the tape in Donald Sterling. Obviously, the players, Chris, apply pressure to the commissioner because they threaten not to play playoff games. And I think... That sped up the process. That put it in front of. Yeah, that happened quickly. Yeah. Right. That happened. Ace and 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 we heard him on the tape. And and in this situation here in Phoenix, Chris, this guy was an equal opportunity bad guy against all kinds of people, black people, women, you know, just like bad behavior and, and a workplace that sounds like it was absolutely awful, yet a ten million dollar fine to a guy who's that rich just doesn't, you know, I, I think that's a soft penalty right. and, and not a big deal at all, to be honest. And um, if you're going to take Donald Sterling's team away, and I'm not making any, Chris, you know I'm not uh, backing Donald Sterling at all, okay? Right, that's not right, my right, point. Right. I want the leagues to be consistent. And if you're going to do the Black Lives Matter and you're for social justice and change and all that, then this situation comes and you have enough people. This is not hearsay. They, it's an independent uh, uh, investigation. We know, Chris, wasn't it Earl Lloyd? Uh, not Earl Lloyd. Uh, Earl Watkins was Earl one of Watson, the co- former Watson. Player, Earl Watson. Yep. Who he was uh, on the record. On the record, we got names of people who we know and respect and uh, who were on the record of some of these incidents and situations. So this is not just hearsay and we don't know what happened and we don't trust the the people who have made these accusations or whatnot. So I'm I'm disappointed in the NBA to uh, not put it to a vote to the other owners to just go with, I guess they went, obviously you just said it, the highest that they could find him legally as far as their bylaws, right, for ownership. So so they took it to the max there. But yeah. this doesn't make me feel good at all or make me feel, how can this guy, after a year, come back and sit courtside? What player is going to come over and, 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 and kibitz with the owner or give him a high five or bring his wife and kids around the guy and say, hey, here's the owner. You know, he's a great – like, like, how does that happen after a year? Well, So, look, so I, those are the okay. issues that I have. I'm just I, – I, I think the NBA went soft. If their findings and, – and I'll read some of their findings to you from their statement, the NBA. If this is 
I mean, this is an independent firm, then I'm okay with what they did. Um, here's what they said they found, uh, the key findings. Robert Sarver, on at least five occasions during his tenure with the Suns Mercury slash Mercury organization, repeated the N-word when recounting the statements of others. So he was telling, you know, telling a story, oh, so-and-so said this and he used the N-word. And I will say this, Rob, that, that bothers me, obviously. I will say this. Most, I don't know for sure, I can't read people's minds. But when white people tell a story they heard or consist, you know, sing a rap song and the N-word lyrics just blatantly, you know, I, I feel like they try to use the excuse of I'm telling a story or I'm just singing the lyrics. But I think they're getting, for some reason, they feel some, they enjoy saying that word if they use it as an excuse like that. So that's my view on it. But here's the other thing. Engaged in instances of inequitable conduct toward female employees, made many sex-related comments in the workplace, inappropriate comments about the physical appearance of female employees and other women, and on several occasions engaged in inappropriate physical conduct toward male employees, whatever that may have been. What, what is um, that? Yeah, that's I, the one I would... What? I, I don't know what... I don't know. <laughs> Who is he touching? what that like, could be, right. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, what? Now, he has He was not found to have engaged in, quote-unquote, sexual harassment um, or a, certainly not assault. Um, and here's the other thing. Mr. Sarver engaged in demeaning and harsh treatment of employees, including yelling and cursing at them. Um, they say they don't have... Uh, they, they make this statement um, that his, they didn't believe his, uh, let me find it here, workplace, here it is. The investigation made no finding that Mr. Sarver's workplace misconduct was motivated by racial or gender-based animus. Um, you know, it was just, they 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 look point out you know their uh efforts for diversity inclusion equity now this doesn't mean it i mean robert uh or uh donald sterling had elgin baylor's his gm for a long for 25 time. years and Chris. doc rivers was Thank his you. coach uh, yeah but they do have monty williams as a coach african-american james jones african-american gm but um those are the findings from the league. And to me, this differs from Donald Sterling in that Donald Sterling was on tape saying, well, let me, let me let, just give this last thing, Rob. Um, they also found most, this was over eight an 18 year period since Sarver took ownership. And they found most of the people to engage in this stuff. Cause they said a lot of there, there were many people that engaged in this type of behavior or environment that are most of them are no longer with the organization. And um, they say that, um, you know, like I said, most of them are not with the organization anymore. And they've like their human resources department has changed. And a lot of other things have changed. So they're, you know, they're, they're uh, in the last year or so they've, you know, tried to really right these wrongs and they're going to continue to do that under the guise of the NBA's watchful eye. But, Sterling was on tape saying he didn't want black people at the games. He was talking about why you bring in, why, why he was talking to his girlfriend saying, why do you like berating her for associating with black people and mad that she brought magic Johnson to the games. Uh, he also over the many years had been accused. He'd been sued for discriminatory practices in, in a lot of the rental properties he owned. So I, I see it different. I don't see Sarver. The, the thing that upsets me the most is the N-word and all that, saying it, uh, you know, telling a story or whatever. But I, I think from the findings, I'm okay with it. Uh, and I think, look, is he going to change? You know, I, I don't know 
you know, racist, whatever. But is he going to change his heart? I don't know. But I bet you he changes and the organization changes his behavior. See, I, I, And I that's think- what I want. I want a work environment where the behavior is not toxic like that, racial like that, misogynistic like that. And uh, I, I think that's what you're going to get going forward with the Suns. Here's my issue. If Chris Paul and Devin Booker said, no, we're not playing for this dude, no, we're not having it, he would be gone. And nobody would bat an eye. And this is what I'm saying. Like the NBA, they got fake muscles. The only muscles they have are come from the players. That's why Donald Sterling, Chris, Donald Sterling had been an owner for a gazillion years. Those lawsuits are from the 70s and 80s. David Stern knew it. Everybody knew it. He, right. was a, he was money bags for the league. The people don't notice about Donald Sterling. When the NBA didn't have all the money it has now, Chris, owners used to go to Donald Sterling and borrow money to, right. for their payroll, for whatever they were doing because he had the money. So that's why nobody ever bothered Donald Sterling. Am I right or wrong on that? You know, you oh, report. No. He, used to, he used to brag about making money every year, even when his team wasn't making the yes. playoffs because he wasn't. And, his payroll was so low, his facilities were so horrible, he and, and nobody bothered him. Did anybody? Right. Did they ever bother him in the NBA? No, nobody. No. And it wasn't until the players st- stood up and said, uh, "We're going to stop this playoff train any minute now." If this guy's still an owner, and he was gone. And in the case in Phoenix, Chris, if, if the findings were, well, they've done this and they're not that, then, then why a fine or suspension if these things have been cleaned up? Well, it's not the saying, people it's not saying he there. wasn't like the, the environment wasn't toxic and has some racial incidents and misogyny. But it's saying, you know, it's, there's degrees to everything. Yeah, but I, I think the you NBA know? should expect better. That league, which has been uh, has taken steps, Chris, uh, about equality and different things, and we've even seen it with when Kobe called uh, uh, an official a gay slur. He was he was fine. Like the league is very uh, conscious of how uh, you know words are used, you right. know, and 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 different things. Uh, so so I give them credit for that. They don't act like. Oh, it's Kobe. Just let it go or whatever. No, they find Kobe, right? Right. When he used a gay slur right. against official. Uh, who is it? The kid in uh, in Minnesota now. Edwards just had a video. Chris, did you see that story? Anthony Edwards. Right. He'll be yeah. fine on that as well. He took it down off of Instagram, but he's the same thing. He had a, a gay slur, a comment about video of some people who were standing outside of his car or whatever it is. But right. my point is, I, I just thought the M- NBA could have done more. This is a long standing. We had some big time people step up on the record, talk about the environment. They should expect more from their owners. If you want the players to uh, act a certain way and, and hold that, you know, the NFL uses that term, Chris, protect the shield that we always hear. I think it should go for both ways. If you're going to hold players accountable, hold these owners, and we want people. Who are not going well, to they, do these a player things. wouldn't be kicked no, out of the no, league. No, I'm not for saying this. to kicked out of the league, but I'm saying the Donald Sterling thing to me, if I'm Donald Sterling, well, and I had this one situation where my side piece recorded a private conversation, right? And you just said it before. He had a black coach, he had a black general would you manager agree for twenty five years. His, what he did I mean, he's saying basically he don't he don't like want his girlfriend associating with black people. Well, like, I, but to that me, might... that's different than what Sarver did. Not that I'm not justifying what Sarver did, but I'm saying to me, there's degrees saying why are you hanging around with black people, even though I wasn't she biracial black. I think, I, yeah, I, I, it, the whole thing. I, yeah, he was he was crazy. And on then, that. like I said, discriminatory practices in his. Now you're right. The NBA that they, they let that go for. Decade. For 20 years, right. right. For but years. he still, he had a pattern, a decades-long history of this type of behavior. Um, and, I, and I'm going to be honest, Rob. You talk about sex-related comments in the workplace. 
inappropriate comments about the physical appearance of females, female employees. Let's just keep it real, man. And I'm not justifying it. I'm saying this is good. There's a new standard. But this happens all the time. Every environment you're in, this happens. It might be, it might not be an, on an official call or something, but don't let's not act like men don't make a comments like this about women all the time. Rob, you and I have been, we've had a female make comments like that about us. You know what I'm talking about? No, what? Okay, really? well, we'll I'll tell you oh, off, the, okay. off the air. We'll no, talk well, about it. Okay. But this, now, I'm not justifying, and you know me, I don't do that stuff. I don't make comments like that. But this is, they're setting a new standard. Because this has been how it's happened. How stuff, you know, guys, boys will be boys. That's, and I'm not talking about what Donald Trump did, grabbing somebody. I'm just talking about inappropriate comments that could make a woman feel uh, uncomfortable. So this is a new standard, and it's like, all right, from now on, that's not going to be tolerated. Yeah, but that, right, standard, so, um, that standard to me, if I'm an owner, that, no, $10 million doesn't scare anybody. That guy's worth... No, it, well, that's that, fine. That, I mean, I, I do the wish they could have fined him more. I agree with that. I just don't think he, he needed to lose the team. But 